Hello my soccer universe. Well, my computer is running like crazy at the moment, so I decided let's do another short video and finish my work that I actually have to do in the evening, you know, kind of to pass the time with some uh, more useful stuff. It's just so boring just sitting in front of the computer for half an hour and waiting. What, when is it gonna finally happening that everything is loaded? Yeah, big data. Uh, and I decided I wanted to do the uh, last what to watch for the Champions League Classics today, but I see I will not have the time for that, so you get another short video. Tomorrow I'm planning on the uh, what to watch Champions League Classics, which hopefully is the final. Uh, it's, it's a final classics installment for now. Um, we might get into some other stuff later. I'm wearing my new 2010 Netherlands jersey. Um, and yeah, since I'm wearing this Netherlands jersey and I have this new European background, I thought let's do a European short video. Turns out I have only two that are not uh, on this wall that would be available to show you here. Otherwise I pull it down from a wall. There are eight on these walls up there that I have not talked about. But hey, uh, the good news is that one of the ones that's not on there is an absolute classic that I'm looking forward to show you. That's a jersey that I've been chasing for a long time and then it fell into my hands for free. Who would have known? This is, of course, the France 98 jersey. Not 98, 999, because Little detail, there's no star on top of it. This was bought during that World Cup and I know it because it belongs to or belonged to my brother Wolfgang. That's why it's only an M, which actually now when I wear it today, I'm an XL. If I wear this M, it actually doesn't look like it's tight on me. It actually looks like a more modern fit. Who would have known that this is the case with these jerseys? So uh, that I find highly interesting um it's a jersey the back the back back in the day i thought i don't need to get this jersey because i already had a france jersey that one up here from the 96 uh, euros which i at the time thought this is the most beautiful france jersey ever um uh, you know as time passes i have to say this one here clearly entered the pantheon of classic france jerseys I also have to say that I like the 2000 one then much better, which was my second one. So uh, at the time, I was not really too much into getting this one. In addition, I have to say when I saw this one, when the new jerseys for the 98 World Cup were released, I was actually quite disappointed for the lack of originality. I was waiting that um, Adidas is going to put out a new uh, great design, blah, blah. And it's basically a 1984 jersey, reimagined, yes, with a white collar to give it a little bit extra. We have some typically 90s stuff like this piping with kind of the French flag here. And you can see it has been worn and washed a lot, so this piping is not all that straight. I wonder if with ironing this could get straighter again. Um, but yeah, the flag collar is really, really nice. I just wonder, really, wouldn't it look better if this was all blue? and then have the flag that way. I think it might stand out. But then there are nice features like the tricolor, the French flag in the within the three stripes. This is a feature that I absolutely love. And I have to say for a modern take, it's not that bad. I mean, the cockerel crest, of course, I like the new one better, but this one looks all right. Note also that on the replicas, the Adidas logo is here to the right in the tournament. It was worn on the scent and here was the uh, France uh, 98 um, slogan so yeah um, what I initially didn't quite get is that you know that the bar is not going all the way through that there's an additional panel of sort of ventilation I think this is the most ventilated part is kind of the side panel and it's not really ventilated but kind of this is the additional layer I think on the player version that would be uh, one ventilation part on the back it is rather plain and yeah, my brother has been wearing and playing in it so there are a few pulls but overall it's in a pretty darn nice shape. FFF logo, there's no player on there. If there would be a player on there, uh, it would be a Zidane, that I can tell you for sure. But I have to say on the front, the 10 that was put here, it just didn't look nice. I think it looks nicer this way. 
As I said, uh, what are other features? Yeah, there's a, this goes French flag all out. There's a little French flag tag here. Of course, there's a French flag on the official garment tag. Uh, the this strapping, it actually does not for, form a French flag, but actually a little bit more, you know, red, blue, white. This is more of a Serbian flag here. I find a curiosity and yeah, uh, but overall I have to say it's a, it's a jersey that has grown a lot to me. I like this one now better than I like the 96 jersey back then. Um, one of the main reasons is that the color actually has a flag and not, uh, uh, you know, three stripes on there. I think it makes it look much cleaner. Again, blue color. I think a blue color here would improve the jersey significantly and probably also for the blues, uh, blue sleeve cuffs. Although I have to say the white sleeve cuffs don't look that bad. I mean, it... How to, how to say, it's typically nice that it just feels a little bit too much of everything. Uh, every detail here is a great one, but I think overall it's just a tad too much. Uh, a little bit more, more, more restrained, although it's a very cohesive jersey overall. And like the Hertha jersey that I showed you, the three stripes, uh, you know, nowadays you get the three stripes with three bands. This is just one band uh, and the colors are kind of printed on there. Uh, if I look inside, yes, you can actually see how it is sewn on. Yep, thanks to my brother. Uh, he gave it to me. He offered it to me early, uh, uh, early in the year. He has now his son. He said he needs to make space. Do I want this jersey? And some other really nice jerseys. This one was, well, well, was the one where I said, oh yes, because I've been looking to get, I would have even gotten a remake almost uh, because this is a jersey I really wanted and I knew that he had it, but I always thought, yeah, this is his jersey. I'm not gonna bug him with that. Well, maybe I should have, I might have gotten it sooner. It's an absolute beauty. It's in great condition. And as I said, um, even for a medium, in modern times, it actually provides a pretty good fit. So yeah, let me know what you think about this jersey. Any memories attached to it, of course. They won the World Cup in it, so there's largely only good me memories. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.